Hello, this is Dr. Aubrey Wallace, and this is the EOE report for this week, October 2nd through October 9th, 2023. If you're liking these, please like, subscribe, and share with as many people as you can. We're trying to get these out to the world. And I'd love for you to comment below. How would you like me to alter these? Do you want them to be shorter? Do you need, do you, are you understanding these? I'd love your feedback if you would like to give it. All right, last week we were in a, we were in a chakra two focus. So you had to step out and take a risk. And it looked like we had, but we had a soft serve coming at us. So a little bit of delicious, a little bit of celebration um, and sort of changing our lives in a good direction. But it looks like it came in with a little bit of uh, cushion last week. This week we're moving into a chakra six and seven focus at the same time here. So we have something that potentially is bringing change that may throw us off of our life balance. And we want to try to work with finding harmony. Okay, so your main job here is to uh, not to to expect maybe things will be a little off off kilter and um, let yourself just try to stay in balance and find your your harmony. There were uh, bombs coming in on the map. So we had bombs flying down from the sky and one has already hit the base of the map. So it looks like we have. Um, the first thing that will hit this week probably will be around, uh, it looks like the color orange, so possibly around money and power. And there was a flame, there are flames of uh, evolutionary growth leap. So it feels like there's a lot of this first thing that hits for us this week is going to um, inspire us to make some changes as far as money, power, and how we need to evolve as a group. It also looks like across the base of the page there, after that one hits, it's going to create these little flames of resilience of the heart across the bottom of the map. So uh, it's likely that this first change that may hit for us is going to help you remember what you care about and what you want uh, to see more of in the world and be more resilient around that. That particular bomb is in the color of unconditional love. So I do think as this first change comes, you're going to maybe you will do the best to actually just stay in acceptance and unconditional love for what's happening for you. Don't be judging yourself and pushing yourself too hard. Just try to remember what's resilient uh, for you in your life. Then the next one coming down there is feisty love and action with demanding of the sacred. And uh, the biggest part of that flame is in canary yellow. So what's going wrong with the world? So I do think that next one that's coming in is going to be giving us a pretty possibly a decent boot in the butt <laughs> saying, you know, get yourself together. And this is what's going on in the world that we need to sort out. So we have one coming that's having us look a little bit more closely at what needs to make, we need to make changes in. And then further off in the back there, I think we have one that may inspire us to, to exactly what it is about our experience and our own superpowers that will help the world uh, in this evolutionary process. Bombs away, it says there, the, the A way is in resilience. So that means doing it A way means doing the, the way that is best for you, that makes you feel the most resilient is the way to focus. And the bombs is in gray. So maybe these things that hit will be good and maybe they won't. Maybe they'll be bad. Um, and we're in the gray area. Usually that means we can still alter it a little bit and make it into something positive for us if we work at it and keep our balance. All right, this could be a little bit of an upheaval week, uh, but I look forward to seeing you guys next week. Take care of yourself and uh, try to find your beat. We'll see you, in, see you on the other side.